All right, guys, this month's battle box just arrived. And not only is this the biggest battle box I think we've ever received, I'm not even sure my camera can focus, but our mail person actually left it out in the rain, so that's great. Uh, anyway, let's open this thing up and see what we got. What's up guys, Eric here with At Home in the Future, and I'm back with another Battle Box unboxing. Like I said, the biggest one we've ever seen, takes up the whole screen here. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with Battle Box, super cool subscription, probably like the original gear box for people who love like outdoor stuff, survival stuff, uh, prepping gear, any of that sort of stuff, really cool mix of stuff, always surprising stuff too. Comes in four different flavors. There's a basic box all the way down to the bottom and it goes all the way up to Pro Plus, which typically has like a knife of the month or something like that. If you wanna get the subscription for yourself, you can follow the link on the screen or down the description. And also my coupon code just changed, so be sure to check that out. But uh, this thing's giant, so let's go ahead and open it up and get it unloaded so we can actually look at what's inside of this thing. All right, so we've got all of our gear and cards and of course our mission brief. This is 110. You can take a look through this thing right here and right off the bat, I'll tell you the biggest item here I've set off to the side. We'll unbox it here in a second. But that is this giant Kong storage case. Uh, pretty cool. All right, neat knife there. All right, as typical, let's go down the list here. We'll start with the basic box. And right off the bat, we have from Rock Gator an Ultralight Series Dry Bag. I think the giant, like, bulletproof duffel bag we got a few months ago in Battle Box was a Rock Gator thing, right? Pretty sure that was Battle Box. Let's check this out. This definitely, uh, if you're familiar with that one, is not the same material, but it feels like a uh, pretty decent kind of midweight dry bag material. You can see the seam going down the side there. I'm guessing it's probably stitched and taped on the inside. Yeah, so pretty typical dry bag stuff. You got a little bit of a branding here at the bottom uh, and you have your kind of typical approach here. Stuff it full of stuff. I'm guessing, was this 10 or 15 liters, does it say? I'm not sure it says in the guide. Let's see in the tag. Unless I just completely missed it. I don't think we have a liter count. I'm gonna guess this is about 15 liters, it seems pretty wide, which is nice for a dry bag. Uh, but anyway, you stuff your stuff in there, uh, close it up, roll it down a little bit, and then buckle it up uh, to keep your stuff watertight and safe. You can also use these, if you're in a scenario where you're kind of going across uh, some water or something like that, uh, you fill it up with some air and use it as a little bit of a flotation device too, most of the time with these. Again, this is mid to lightweight materials. So I don't know if it can stand up to that abuse, but this Rock Gator stuff's pretty nice. So uh, it's a nice item to start with down in our basic box. So there you go, there's that. Uh, next up, I always like a light, uh, and from Empowered, we have one of these Lucy lamps, which I've had before. They're uh, pretty nice solar lanterns. Uh, I have not seen this one, though. This looks like it has this bendable kind of stand thing. Looks like it's multiple purpose. They call it an adjustable arm. Yeah, you can see all the different positions you can put this thing in. But let's uh, pop the seal on this and take a quick look at it. All right, so here we go, sliding that out. Uh, nice little solar panel on there. I dig this arm. It's got like a little clasp, I guess, that keeps it uh, closed when not in use. Um, pretty cool. This reminds me, was it Night Eyes who makes the, the big, uh, thick, kind of bendy rope cinches? This reminds me a lot of that. It's got kind of a nice, it keeps its shape and everything. If this seems a lot heavier, I could see it kind of changing shape as it hung or something like that, but it has enough weight to it that you can prop it up and kind of use it as a makeshift lantern. Let's see, I don't know if it ships with the charge. We're gonna try, yeah. So it looks like maybe we have a low mode, medium, high, blinking. Maybe all we got there, but that's still pretty bright. Maybe, I'm gonna guess 100 lumens. Let's see if it says in the packaging here. Okay, I guess high, I guess it goes up to 40 lumens because it's so kind of a softer light there, uh, but nice. Especially to have um, in an emergency or if you're tent camping, you can hang this from the top of your tent or set it up as a little reading light and that sort of thing. I dig it, my kids will dig this too. Um, it is micro USB rechargeable. Again, if you hear me talk about rechargeable stuff, I always wish it was USB-C these days just because that eliminates one extra cable you have to carry with you, but nice. I like these and I like having a different kind of twist on these lights. So cool, so that's the, from Empower, the Lucy Core. Um, I dig it. All right, next item in basic, something I feel like I've seen a lot lately, lately in the different subscription boxes. I know not everybody is getting all these subscriptions like your typical YouTuber does, uh, but the classic SOG uh, e-tool or entrenching tool, kind of the old school classic uh, little portable shovel thing. So you either love these um, or you don't. Uh, I kind of fall in the middle, I don't know. I I've seen several better variations on this lately, especially I think even BattleBox sent one several boxes ago from Hummer of all brands. I know it was just a licensed thing, but that one's actually really nice. Let me pop this out and look real quick. All right, so they got this thing all tied up and everything, but your typical e-tool folds up, comes at a few different angles and everything, um, packs down small. It's got this little saw on it that, um, I don't know, depending on the task, I find them mostly useless. Um, I feel like this specific model of e-tool, you can get knockoffs all over the place on Amazon. Uh, SOG makes a slightly better version of it, but for me, there's just just flimsy enough 
to where I feel like I can't use this. Maybe if I'm like digging out a little pit for a campfire or something, um, that's probably about it for me. Like I said, that Hummer one's really nice. I think Glock of all people actually makes a really nice one as well. Um, or of course you can get into like the Overland ones that are crazy expensive, but there you go. You got one of the basic box if you need one. That's from SOG, their entrenching tool. Um, not a bad basic box this month. So let's move on up to our advanced box over here. Uh, we have some fix-it sticks. That's not it. That's our knife of the month. Let's see. Right here. Okay. These are interesting. I've seen these floating around on the YouTubes, but I haven't actually got my hands on these. So I'm excited to check this out. Let's open this up. All right, so we have kind of a portable little kit here with two different sticks. Looks like we have some bits maybe already pre-installed or entered into these. Your typical kind of hex driver, which you can use on their own. Lots of different sizes there. Looks like we have hex bits and different types of Phillips and star bits and flatheads and all that other stuff kind of built in. I don't know if any of these are double-sided. Let's see. Sometimes you'll get like a Phillips bit that has a flathead on the other side. It doesn't look like it. But what's cool about these is if you need some extra torque, uh, you can actually slide this bit up here into the handle or likewise with the other one and kind of torque down this with, um, I guess what you call like a, a T-grip. So if you need to really get something opened up there, um, kind of a cool approach to that for lots of different tasks and tools. So I do dig that. Um, in my mind, this is just about the perfect glove box tool or even like if you have a console in the middle of your car or your truck, these don't take up all that much space, pretty light, but have a ton of utility to them. Um, so yeah, I like these. I'm a fan and it feels like these extra bits and stuff are in here pretty good. You just kind of slide them up there. They have a unusually, normally this stuff is just like hard plastic, but it's just rubberized enough that it really holds on to this stuff. So yeah, I dig that. Okay. So that's for our advanced box this month. Fix it sticks, a very cool item. Something that I've only seen those once or twice floating around out there. So I'm actually glad to have one of those I can throw um, in the truck. Good to have. All right, next up, the big boy. The reason why this whole box was comically large is a Kong case. Uh, you can see right here, this is a big one, a Kong case Rampage Edition. Comes in several different colors and everything. Let's see what I got. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the box. I'll kind of pan the box back to the camera so you can see. Look at this giant cardboard box. Looks like I do have the yellow one. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up. We'll take a look. All right, so here you go. First impressions are, I actually dig this crazy yellow. Um, Cause especially out in the wild and stuff, if you're even throwing this around in the back of a truck um, and throwing your gear out at a campsite or something, you wanna be able to spot it. Um, it's kind of ridiculous, like having all this camo colored gear and stuff. I guess if you're trying to stay like tactical, that's great. But if you're just like a camper or somebody that wants to be able to spot your gear, it's next to impossible to find. So really dig this. It feels like a super high quality, like almost, if you've ever messed with like a Pelican case, it feels better than that. Um, so it looks like there's like pressure release thing here. We got this big handle, um, super sturdy, you got a rubberized grip there. And look at these latches. Again, it's so big, it's hard to get this on camera. So it looks like we pull this down and then pull this up. Two of these. All right, look at that. And we got this foam. Can you see that? It's like, it's blocked out and cut out in sections so you can just carve out this foam for whatever you need to store in this thing. So whether that's, um, I guess like a pocket knife collection, you could just probably fill this thing up with probably like 30 knives or something if you really wanted to, or a drone or camera equipment or any of that stuff. I don't know, possibilities are kind of endless. I dig this. This is very cool. Um, this is the kind of stuff I like to get in these boxes because I probably wouldn't, um, you know, if you go to a big outdoor store and see these things, you're like, man, that's awesome. But you probably aren't going out to pick one of these up. Uh, but having one um, in my garage now, I'm going to find some stuff to store in this. I really dig it. Maybe make it like an apocalypse box or something like that full of stuff. I like how easy to spot it is and I dig the color. So, all right, I'm a fan. I think, I think, now this is before my battle box days. I've been doing this for a few years now. Um, but I think right before I jumped on board and started unboxing these on YouTube, I think they sent a slightly smaller uh, Kong case as well. Cause I remember being jealous about that when I was watching these videos on YouTube. So cool, I love it, it's huge. All right, last but not least, as always, the knife of the month, Pro Plus Club. Um, really cool blades, typically EDC stuff, some bigger stuff sometimes. Looks like we have a fixed blade this time from Razorback. I am unfamiliar with this one. I'll be honest, I think, well I think Razorback I think of that one they sent maybe a year ago that had like, I don't know, it was like a modular thing. We had all these kind of different mix and match blades and stuff. It may have been kind of a hunting tool, uh, but I wasn't the biggest fan of that. Um, so we'll see, maybe this will be me over here. So this is Razorback Canyon fixed blade. I'm guessing we all get the same colorway, unlike the Kong box here. Um, it's a nice box. 
Cool. I don't know. It's smaller for some reason than I was expecting. Got some materials there. And we got some, I guess, paperwork or like a little microfiber cloth. Interesting sheath. I don't know why that pattern's there. I guess that's cool. Hmm. And the clip is just kind of a typical, almost reminds me of like a Mora knife, like a clip you'd slide um, easily on a belt. Nothing fancy. Let's push this out with our thumb here. Uh, I do like it D2 still. Feels pretty well balanced and everything. Very cool uh, finish on the blade. Kind of a really dark stone wash. A little bit of jimping on the back. That feels pretty good though. Full tang. I'm guessing G10 scales. They've got kind of this fishy looking wave pattern, but I like that. Toil feels nice. Okay. It's maybe one of the first uh, Razorback knives I've actually really dug. And it helps. It's a little bit smaller. Again, I, tend, I don't have the biggest mitts. So a knife like this fits really nice in my hand. Let's see if there's anything else we need to know about this. So this is made by Russ Comer. Uh, it's made a bunch of knives for a bunch of big brands and everything. Uh, like Fox knives and CRKT. I dig it. Yeah, spine sharp enough to strike a ferro rod. A bunch of jimping on here. Man, I actually really like this thing. A lot of the fixed blades, um, I feel like I'm more particular about fixed blades even than like a typical folding blade that you throw in your pocket. There's something about it. If I'm sitting around a campfire messing with this stuff, which is my primary scenario for messing with things like this, um, I just want a blade that I enjoy and just feels really nice in my hand. And this one's actually very nice. I dig it. I like the drop point profile, I like the size. Okay, I'm a fan, dig that. All right guys, cool battle box this month. We've got this knife from Razorback. We got some fix-it sticks. We got a lantern and a dry bag. Uh, we've got this e-tool over here. The only item that I'm kind of meh on. And of course, the giant uh, Kong case. Maybe next month we'll have something Godzilla themed. I dig it. Uh, so yeah, if you want to get the subscription for yourself, be sure to follow the link on the screen or down in the description. Make sure you use the new coupon code because we just changed around this month. Uh, really, really cool stuff. If you're into this sort of gear at all, I promise you you'll have a ton of fun with this sub. All right, guys, that's it for this month's unboxing. As always, if you dug the video, be sure to hit the like button because it helps the channel out a ton and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. I'll see you guys next time.